After the open draw, the field is set for the $311,000 Messenger Final. The public still believes Beach Towel is the best, sending him off at 3 to 5. But the entry of In the Pocket and Jake and Elwood is also receiving strong support at 7 to 5. The field is now in motion, and there they go. They're off and pacing till we meet again in the pocket between horses. Beach Towel is up on the outside. Jake and Elwood closing quickly in the center. Big date in along the rail. Down the back stretch. Kiev, Hanover, Oscar, Sun and Spirited Style. Battling for the lead. Midway on the turn up on the outside in the pocket. Gets command. His entry mates moving with him. Here comes Jake and Elwood. This is a potent entry here. They're by the opening quarter, 27 and four. They're too deep past the stands. From the outside, Jake and Elwood moves to the front. He'll be tough now. Jake and Elwood leads the way in the pocket second. Till we meet again as third, big date, fourth, beach towel, five to make up. He's out and moving. Kiev, Hanover, Spirited Style, and Oscar Sunner, hub to hub. Around the clubhouse, turn of the half, beach towel looking for cover, got it. But the entry is still bouncing along one, two. Jake and Elwood in the pocket, 56 and three. Screening out for their long journey down the backstretch. By a length and a half, it's Jake and Elwood moving up on the outside till we meet again. In the pocket is just that. Here comes Beach Tell. He'll wind it up from fourth. Big Day skims the pylons. Kiev Hanover is into the flow. Oscar's son and spirited style. They're hub to hub, head and head, side by side and stride for stride, two, three quarters. Jake and Elwood is there in 124 and 3. They'll kick in now on the final turn. Jake and Elwood, three parts of a length. Ray Remmons got the big colt out and moving. He's swinging wide for the drive. Beach towel. Till we meet again in the pocket. Needs the fight back. Swinging wide on the far outside. Kiev Hanover there into the stretch. John Campbell using the whip now for the first time. Draws off on Jake and Elwood. Beach towel's not going to make it till we meet again in Kiev Hanover. Jake and Elwood, the Blues Brothers in the Messenger, 152-3, and three, one fifth off the track record. Until tonight, Beach Towel had only lost twice this year, but now he has tasted defeat two times in one night. It's a joyous evening for Lou Guida and the connections of Jake and Elwood, as their $30,000 supplement returns huge dividends. John, congratulations. What, what did you choose Jake and Elwood for? Well, he, he races his heart out every time. It was a tough decision. I really debated about it with uh, Dr. Sieber, and uh, he's just been a little stronger the second heats, and especially the second heat of the cane, I was really impressed with him. So that, that was really the deciding factor. When you made your move to the front, were you a little leery about getting to the front, or did you feel confident because your entry mate was on the front end? Well, it's not, it doesn't matter who was in front. It, it was a chance you could get parked, but I mean, if you're going to park Jake and Elwood, you're going to go awful fast. You're just going to burn himself up. So it didn't matter whether it was uh, uh, in the pocket or until uh, we meet again in front, I was going to try and regain. And if he had got parked, that, that happens. But we'd have been down there awful fast. Did you feel that was the strategy you needed to beat Beach Towel? Yeah, I wanted to race in front if at all possible when the draw came out with me inside him. That was really a big factor was the draw. I wanted to race in front and try and control the fractions. And how did you feel going into the race? Did you feel confident about beating Beach Towel? Oh, I wasn't confident about beating Beach Towel. The only thing I was confident of was Jake and I would race well because he races well every time out. Uh, anytime you beat Beach Towel, you, you race very large because he just goes at a tremendous race every time out as well. So the, the draw was the deciding factor, but I certainly wasn't confident of beating him going in. Beach Towel, the undisputed leader of the three-year-old pacing ranks, went down tonight to a horse that John Campbell referred to as a cash register. Obscurely bred but ultra-talented Jake and Elwood. With two legs of pacing's triple crown to his credit, it's unfortunate that his connections can't supplement him to the third leg, the little brown jug. Co-owner Lou Guida and trainer Ken Sieber feel their colt is a definite threat for divisional honors. Beach Towel used hard in his elimination and then forced three wide in the last turn of the final would have to settle for second best. So the cash machine rings again. <laughs>